out of the Los Angeles County area right now happening a police chase involving a possible stolen car. We want to go ahead and take you to live coverage from our partners over in Los Angeles. Let's listen in. With the car drivers going on the corner of Elizabeth and Liberty here in the Southgate area, very uh, not well illuminated Dark. area here. And there he, he's on the run there. He is on the run. Now this is where we get, it gets dangerous again. There was, a, there was no need to, to actually oh, exit no. the vehicle. The there. But this is the oh, situation no. we oh, saw man. with that, that pursuit. Dog? Going to a home, you know, perhaps, and having Standing an altercation yep. with the home, uh, with the homeowners, uh, the people residing in that unit. Yep. This is so dangerous. We don't know, Alex and Marla, if this individual is armed. Police have to assume that they are. And we also don't know if this person has a connection to this neighborhood or not. Uh, or if this was just randomly the place where they chose to foot bail. We understand that the vehicle itself kept moving and crashed into a tree. Uh, so there was nobody else apparently in that Thankfully. vehicle. Thankfully, good. Uh, and now this suspect, uh, and, and if you know anybody that lives in this uh, area, please give them a call, give them a heads up. Doors Keep and their windows doors, locked. Windows locked, because mm -hmm. this is very dangerous. We saw during that pursuit recently that Rick was mentioning a similar situation to this, where uh, the suspect got into a, a, a home, stole car keys, grabbed another vehicle, and got away. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we hope that a similar situation doesn't happen here. We also don't know, Rick, is this suspect armed? That's right. You see a lot of activity in that home there on the far left side of your screen. Law enforcement have, has to assume they are. But if you live anywhere near, again, we will reiterate this, Elizabeth and Liberty, stay inside, doors and windows locked. Keep your phone on and call 911 if you see anything uh, on your property there. But a lot of areas to hide. The night sun is on this area, as you can see there, looking for that suspect. Something, some movement there in the back of that uh, yeah. house with the windows on. We just saw that. Unclear if that's uh, related to that suspect yeah. on the run. Four people inside. It appears that they were all males. Four males inside that stolen vehicle that's why they were pursuing this individual unclear what happened with that incident how it really started if they were just going to try to do a traffic spot stop they ran the plates that vehicle came back uh, as stolen and the pursuit was on bottom line there were four males that appeared to be inside that vehicle we saw the foot bail of the three passengers uh, about 20 minutes ago or so and now we just saw the uh, driver commandeering that vehicle uh, hop out of the vehicle there it is right there on the corner there it yeah. is we'll show that to you and uh, and we're hearing nobody was was hit thankfully uh, but they got like that it ended scene. up on the sidewalk into some bushes we're hearing that the sheriff's deputies down below were able to clear the vehicle so that would be considered a code four where the vehicle we know that no one else is in it they've looked in the trunk they've made sure in the meantime the search is on for the driver it's difficult i mean even with the night sun with the shadows and it, it, it's confusing and, and then this is also when we can misidentify when there if there's somebody innocent just in their backyard this time of night it's right. not late it's 5 30 in the afternoon and, and human nature would be oh my god there's all these helicopters in my neighborhood right. i hear all these sounds i want to see what's going on <laughs> right? right and then some people may just look outside to try to figure out what's happening in their neighborhood it's interesting that of all the places we were on this pursuit, this was among the darkest areas uh, where this person chose to stash their vehicle. Another danger, Marla, in, in being in, you know, quote unquote, tracking mode for the, the sheriff's deputies is there weren't a bunch of vehicles right behind mm -hmm. this car. So when this guy gets out of the car and goes on the run, there's nobody right there to stop him. Uh, and right. so he's able to get out of the vehicle and essentially potentially hide in one of these uh homes what, what, what we just showed you on the bigger portion of your screen was earlier in this pursuit when the driver was going the wrong way and then down a hillside sparked some flames and then carried on and that was one of the more memorable moments of the uh pursuit there was also the moment those that those three passengers foot bailed right here right this is that's, what happens. yeah that's where this is coming up right here on this on-ramp you'll see three individuals take off get out of the car and then that's when this pursuit carried on. See that passenger Off door open? One, two, two three. three. All there appeared, you go. All appeared to be males. Uh, unclear, but four people inside that vehicle. The driver continued on. Those three passengers bounced out. 
and uh, and were on the run. Unclear if they were uh, apprehended yet. Now they're just searching this neighborhood again with our extreme nav system. Always on it for you here at Fox 11 with Sky Fox and our technology. Elizabeth Avenue at Liberty Boulevard here. If you're anywhere near this uh, area, if you live in this area, you can see all the law enforcement. Doors and windows locked. To keep it low. Keep it quiet. If you see anything on or near your property, call 911 immediately and alert uh, these deputies. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's, Sheriff's Deputy Department. If there was a lead agency with this stolen vehicle, we haven't uh, ascertained that yet, but they could be on it as well. I know that CHP was on it for a time, but you can see they're setting up that perimeter. We use that term a lot. There's a law enforcement helicopter there crossing our screen. We talk about perimeters with wildfire, setting that line that circle around the danger zone and that's what they're doing in this neighborhood setting up units in and around the neighborhood trying to seal off that area so that that suspect can't leave that area and they can contain that individual in this neighborhood in Southgate so this could take a long time uh, it could take hours uh, to try to go through every one of these uh, places door-to-door -door, make sure um, that the deputies themselves don't put themselves in danger, especially not knowing if this person is armed. Um, we are going to monitor this. Sky Fox is staying above this. If we get some resolution here, we will go back as soon as we get that resolution. 